Bentley Raceway and Cable Management. How to use in a wind park. In the functional model, it shows the standard workflow as example. So an Excel import is necessary for a cable list. And in the next step, it is possible to insert detailed 3D equipment and raceway parts. And later then, it is possible to create a 2D extraction and other reports. Also possible is to use, for example, Luminar T for a reality modeling visualization. So here again, the standard workflow. It's place equipment, import cable list, for example, convert lines into raceway systems or create and add raceway parts manually. The cable management was an automatic routing and outputs. In BRCM, you see here an example from already placed equipment symbols are wind turbines, um, foundations, uh, transformers, offshore or here, uh, offshore substation uh, as example. And in the same way here, it is possible to insert symbols from our equipment manager. For example here, offshore wind turbines and so it's easily possible to insert, if necessary, with a rotation or something else inside the drawings. There are other symbols available in my example, for example, the foundation. And so it is possible to insert step by step the equipment as necessary. Also in the Equipment Manager are other symbols like panels or panel with controls, motors and other equipments. And so it is possible to insert that equipment symbols also inside that wind turbines, for example. Uh, better to see if I choose, for example, here the transparent. And so you see here inside the first wind turbine is here two panels, a motor, connection points, and from the raceway parts you see also the raceway cable letters inside. If an equipment is already inserted, it is also possible to choose that equipment symbol including all of its parts and to copy to a different location and to use in future that additional copied wind turbine because here you see also the inside installations as a copy. More important part in BRCM is to add the cable list I will show in the next step. In the cable list import from Excel it is possible to select a cable list and an XML file for that import. I will show here the cable list in a preview. And so you see here the data necessary to import. So it's a from ID with maybe location, a to ID with location, and we're important as a cable ID. Also, we need an Category, that's a voltage level. In my example, it's all mid-voltage cables. And here you see also it's a cable type in that list. Using that selection, it is possible here to import the data. And because I had already imported data before that step, it will now add only new added cable to my data and so you see here's a new added cable and uh, there's the information inside from where to where that cable is connected which voltage level it has and so on and we select all and accept it is possible to import all the cable in one step to my database after the import from cable list it is possible in the id manager to select the not associated IDs and insert a symbol. 
my example you see here a lot of associated ids that are already placed symbols from my, my last step so we see here for example that uh, motor inside that wind turbine and now it is necessary to add also here the empty entries with a symbol or if i copied it is possible to associate that imported ids with a symbol i will associate here and for better visualization i will switch off the wind turbine itself so it's easier possible to select symbol inside the drawing Also possible here to choose, for example, a junction box for an additional connection point. Let's say here next to that motor. And now all the IDs are associated with equipment symbols inside the drawing. In BHCM, it is possible in the next step to create different raceway systems. There exist cable tray, ladder, cable basket, conduits, and cable routes. Each of the systems have different catalogs and each catalog maybe have different sizes. And using set settings, for example, it is possible here to create such kind of vertical cable letters inside our wind turbine. Let's activate and change settings to transparent. So you see here the inside installations or also possible here if you have a look in the offshore substation, the parallel cable trays and ladders inside that building or drawing. Also possible is to create parallel conduits using here the duck bank router, for example. You see here it's possible to create a parallel system from different duck banks with maybe different sizes and different voltage levels and result is something like that. In our example for that offshore wind park, it's very useful to use a um, standard line command here, the play smart line, because here it is possible to select points from the drawing or also select points from the reference file and to create here a possible direction routing for the system using only points. In 3D it's always possible to go up and down If you have that points inside your reference drawings, you can select that points. And at the end, I want here to connect at a point in that transformer station. And you see in 3D, here is a line I draw and it's also possible to change points if necessary. And in BRCM, it is possible to use here our raceway generator. And the raceway generator can transfer that line into an cable route or 
inside a building also in a raceway system for a later automatic routing. In the next step, I will open the routing drawing, only used for the automatic routing. In the first start, it's an empty drawing. And in the cable manager, it is now necessary to connect all the cables with auto connect with the equipment symbols placed in the other drawings. And next, it's now possible to do some automatic routing here with select all and pressing routing manager. It is possible to start the automatic routing. In the routing manager itself, I will select all the cables for an automatic routing. And you see in my example are 41 cables. And now they are routed. Only five are not routed because maybe there is no possible route in the drawing. In my example, there is no route inside that wind turbine top uh, area, so we can't route. But the rest of the cables are automatically routed. Now it is possible to visualize the automatic routing inside the drawing. Here, for example, is a connection from a junction box to the main distribution panel inside wind turbine number one. So with visualize, it will show here the route from source to target. Or if I select here the cable connection in another area. Here it's a connection from wind turbine one to the offshore transformer station. And that will show here the route used by that cable from that connection point to that connection point. And it will do the same here for the connection from uh, maybe the substation to the transformer or all other connections. You see here also a connection from that uh, offshore substation to the land shore substation. And it will show also here that connection and the calculated length for each of it. With that setting, um, detailed reports are possible here in the cable reports, cable pull cards are possible. Or also it is possible if I select all here to create a cables drums list. And here you see in a list how many drums from each cable type are necessary. In my example, I said here the drum length from that uh, offshore cable uh, to 2000 meter. And so the system itself will calculate how many drums are necessary and which cables are totally here uh, connected to that drum. Each of our reports uh, you see here from cable pool cards or here from the drum schedule, it's possible to export as Excel sheet. Other reports are possible in our output manager. And in output manager, it is possible to select here in the detail design part, a lot of different outputs. We often use this a detailed BOQ, bill of quantity. I will select all of my data inside my project. And next up, it's now possible to create, for example, a detailed bill of quantity. With preview, it will show here in a detailed list where each Raceway part is listed, vertical uh, parts, fittings, and so on. And also at the end of that sheet, it shows here, for example, the equipment symbolic used in the drawing. So here, for example, the cabinets or junction box, or also the wind turbines if are 
listed in some way, transformers, and on. Other possible outputs are, for example, detailed cable lengths, where it will list detailed cable lengths in total for each cable type. If Luminar T is installed on your machine, it is possible to export here our installation drawing with a detailed visualization of the wind turbines and the other equipment and race-based systems into Luminar T. In Luminar T, now it is possible to set a lot of settings, for example, sun position or also here is the uh, ocean settings. And the next step to create a video with a walkthrough or fly through from all of your equipment. So, for example, if you have a look here in our offshore transformer station. will show here the transformers and here are also the panels or if I fly through and you inside a wind turbine you will see here the raceway systems Here's a motor and also the panels here inside the wind turbine. That was a brief overview about the workflow in Bentley Raceway and Cable Management for an offshore wind park and the visualization in Luminati. Thanks for attending.